Coming up, I'm going to show you how I go about taking this bare plastic build and give it a lovely matte finish ready for painting. But before we do all that, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for future content and why not leave a like while you're on. So now, you're at the fun part of the build, well for me anyway, painting it. To start, we take a small amount of isopropyl alcohol and with some kitchen towel, wipe away any dust and grease that might have built up during assembly. This will then give us a nice surface to work with for the next part of the process. Then, because you don't want all that hard work going to waste, we need to make sure that any interior details are well and truly covered up. I like to use a combination of soft foams to protect the delicate seat belts, etc. Good old blue tack and mask and tape. There's not much to this step, you just need to make sure that it be as delicate as possible and to make sure every gap is filled properly to avoid any sort of overspray. And a good old cocktail stick comes in handy as well. In this next step, I'm going to use Tamiya XF71 Cockpit Green before I prime the model. Because, well, why wouldn't you? A few light coats with the airbrush will do the job and help finish off that interior nicely. The airbrush I'm using for this is in a water eclipse and it's set to about 15 psi give or take. Now onto the primer itself. I'm using a Mr. Surfacer 1500. I've tried umpteen different brands with mixed results and for me this one's the best. It leaves the, the best smoothest surface. Um, nice and even and once it's fully dry it's really really hard wearing. Then I thin it down with Mr. Hobby Self Leveling Thinner. Now this stuff stinks to high heaven so it's really good practice to at best use an extractor or at the very least crack open a window and wear a proper mask which is what I do because of space. Then it's just a case of giving it a good old stir through, adjusting here and there with a the level of thin at the primer until you're left with a runny milky like consistency. It should flow freely, but not be transparent when you tap it against the mixing pot. My apologies for the dodgy angle here. I'm, I'm right handed and I didn't set my camera right and it wasn't high enough. But it has been noted, so hopefully the next time I won't cock up. After a few test sprays to make sure I've got the primer flowing nicely through the brush, I then apply it to the model in thin, misted coats, about 5-6 to six centimetres away from the surface. Now, the beauty with the Mr. Hobby Primer is when it's applied in thin coats, they dry pretty quickly. And when you use it with the self-leveling thinner, it offers a nice flat coat. So if you're impatient like me, you can leave it a few minutes in between coats. And then when the sheen's kind of gone, um, you're good to go on the next pass. So you can do, do a lot of um, priming quite, quite quickly, which is, for me, an absolute plus. And that, in a nutshell, is basically it. Like I said, there's tons of different primers out there, but this is how I like to do it. I found the Vallejo on clogs. Um, I've moved on from using rattle cans, but if you're brush painting, there's absolutely nothing wrong with them, and I would recommend the Army Painter range. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope that at least one person out there has learned something. And please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.